Another difference with this installation is, as it's three phase, we need the right solution to protect us from open circuit pen conductors. And this is the device for Matty, and this is all the equipment inside it. So let's explain what each piece does. Up here we have the isolator, so it's a simple mechanical device, on and off. This bit of kit here does all of the detection, so it monitors and uses all of the three phases to get a virtual reference point for Earth. And when it detects 70 volts on the neutral, it will send a voltage down onto the shunt and operate this electromechanical device here. Now, look at it, it's very comprehensive, so it disconnects phase one, two, three, the neutral and the protective conductor, and that is essential for the safety within 722. So basically, you must ensure the protective conductor for the circuit does pass through here, because if you connect it on through this part of the circuit, it would flow through to the EV charging point. Now, whilst we're here, I'll explain that you would normally earth up the armour in of the incoming cable onto the chassis of this enclosure, which is metallic, but that would actually pass down through here, and as we've got the connection onto here, if it wasn't done properly, it would be exported out. Now the good thing is, following their instructions and what we know, at the EV point, it's actually terminated and insulated, so there's no way that the voltage could be exported from here outside. So what else can this little unit do? Well, it uses all of the three phases. So in the event of a phase being lost, this device can detect that, because obviously the voltage will rise on the neutral and will send the shunt down to there. And the good thing about that is if you lose the phase, um, some motors may be affected and don't run very smoothly, but this device will operate as well. It is a one-shot device, so if this operates, you will need to manually reset it. So it won't actually reset as well if it detects or already knows that there's a voltage on the neutral. So it's one of the devices that we are aware of that complies with 722 because in the event of the situation being on the neutral the 70 volts, this device will not make. So obviously you need to investigate that. Okay. Now the other thing about this device is that it includes a type B RCD and we know that because I can see all the symbols here. Okay. So it has all of the DC detection, all of the AC detection built into it, which means that we don't need any protective equipment at the EV charging point, so it's very comprehensive. Now this is one of the options, it comes in a variety of uh, arrangements from single phase or three phase. This is a single circuit feeding a three phase 32 amp EV charging point, but it equally could have done three single phase options, but we would have needed to change the equipment here. So it can do single phase or three phase in a multiple of ranges up to 100 amps. So it's very versatile and will help you on any of the installs that you're likely to come across.